So I recently got a request to do a studio tour and at first I was like new no, because it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Um, but then I decided, you know what, I love you guys, so I'll give you what you want. So, um, first of all, so this is, if I could talk, um, this is my reborning station. Pretty chaotic, yes. I have, like, my most used brushes still out. I got paints. I'm, I'm just, like, painting right now. So, I have some, you know, lids open, and this is the... I use this pink palette for my main ones and I use this one for doing like eyebrows and hair, more delicate work. Um, I have paint cups that I use. Um, I think they're mostly down in here. And here's stuff like paper towels and puppy training pads and uh, more canvases like this. I got all my little sponges. Um, this is where I set the doll kits. Normally I do one kit at a time, unless it's something like this, which these are twins. So um, I like to paint them together to make sure that they're pretty close in coloring. And then over here is kind of like my extra tools that I have. I have tweezers, I have forceps, which are awesome and they're pretty essential. With little spatulas and picks for helping to open um, belly plates and even noses. Um, my other nose opening tools. Some these are very useful. Little like pointed Q-tips. Some uh, strong adhesives. No stuff. This is actually my poor grandma. I don't know what she did to this doll, <laughs> but apparently. Because it's not like the hair was coming out, it was literally the, um, well, okay, I will say I did this part, um, but like right here, it was, um, just, I guess, where it had been rubbing up against something and the hair kind of flaked out, so that doesn't say much about the hair I used. I'm pretty sure this is Slumberland hair. Um, I don't usually use them anyway, um, because I found that the hair tend to be more frizzy. I, mm, but some people love uh, Slumberland and think it's awesome. This probably was just the way I rooted it. Um, this was one of the first dolls I ever did. No kit. So anyway, I'm in the process of fixing her back up. Trying to get all the glue out of her hair. And um, pulling the hair out. And then completely repainting her and all that. So under here um, we've got my extra paint thinners. Um like mineral spirits or something like that. And I got my glass beads in this Tupperware. And I got a whole array of polyfill. I also have my thicker polyfill here because I just did a video um, stuffing and weighting uh, Grace and Brown, a little trash bag. Um, okay, <clears throat> these tubs here, um, I got some uh, limbs up here. The head is currently being rooted. And then I'm going to do the eyebrows and nails. Kind of wanted to do them at the same time. So yeah, got some my vinyl gloves that I use to strip kits with sometimes. And body. And this tub is boy clothes, girl clothes, holiday clothes. Um, and I will, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I shared this huge room with my family. Um, my dad has an office on the other end. My mom between his office and this area has like a sewing wrapping station that she works on so yeah um uh, that's my mom's stuff i have no idea this I have a car seat stroller um a rocker back here is like some lamb pillows and stuff that i use for doll shows um this is what when i finish painting and get ready to take to the oven I just stick it on here this is my baking pan and here is some uh, rooting stuff hair and all that which I mean I save the hair but for the rest of it I don't really use just because I don't root anymore and here we have some general stuff um, I have some certificate of authenticities up here <laughs> I have like a whole thing of them because um, I was really bad and would have forgot to include them a lot of times. 
um, but I will be including like this one with the Andy kit I'm doing and the ones I currently have now with certificates I will include some extra sponges and scissors um, this is for getting ink off vinyl kits I got this at the doll show last year so it's just you know some knickknacks this is like my rooting drawer um, hair hair brushes needles razor combs but again I don't really use it anymore this is great stuff and expensive and I think because I haven't used it it's probably not usable anymore some spray good stuff what's this uh, what is this for I have no idea what I used that for <laughs> it may have been given to me I'm not sure then down here is like my um, stuff I use for waiting. I have my little tights I use. I have cable ties. I have bags of poly pellets. Little things of poly pellets. I have... I never use these ever. I need to sell them. Um, they're like um, limb and head plugs. I also have, I think, some neck rings right here. Um, some more poly pellets. Some fabric I use to put on pacifiers. This is the one I use to back noses with. Some more tights. Uh, this drawer does get used quite a bit. I have some like connectors in here because you know me, I always like to do weird experiments with a. Uh, <laughs> this thing's really creepy. This here came from a monkey doll that, let's see, first like, it's supposed to do like a sucking motion, but I've never, okay, no more, there we go, <laughs> but I've never um, attempted to put it in a doll. I know that there are some really, like the super, super soft vinyl kits. Um, you know, you could probably get that motion, but it's just been like hard work to do that. So anyway, there's my drawer there. Let's see, we have a Charlie Webb head. Um, up here is, I have an assortment of belly plates. Bodies galore, I have ton, ton of bodies. Um, this is a pack of um, connectors that I'm going to use for my um, Ashton Drake babies that I'm working on. Then I have a bottle, these little packs that I send when I <coughs> sell my babies. I have some cute little bodies like this. I have like a ball jointed body. I think this is for. Um, it's technically for like the Little Grace Ashton Drake. Um, and here is usually kits, but I don't have any more kits. Um, I think I got some uh, clothes that I had originally picked out for Harlow, but I wound up trading Harlow to get some head roots, heads rooted. So I got just some extra stuff that I send with babies, bottles towels, things that somebody made for me. Um, let's see. Here. Ooh. All right, need two hands. Come on, open. There we go. I have blankets and cloth diapers that I send with each baby. I do. It's pretty much all that's in here, I'm pretty sure. Just various blankets and cloth diapers. Over here is some extra stuff that I sometimes send with the babies. This is like a little neck pillow for like an older sculpt or even like some really tiny sculpts would use it as a boppy. Then I got various loveys in here. I have little gift bags. Some more loveys. Some more loveys because I think I stocked up on all of these. Um, Lovies here to send with all my babies. Um, these are some extra clothes that I recently took pictures of to sell. I haven't listed them yet. This is Benjamin's 
uh, clothing lot that will go with him when he sells. And where's everybody else's? Uh, oh, I think it's on the bed. This is a um, like a baby sling, which I never use. If somebody wants it, you know. <laughs> then we have some extras that I send with babies sometimes. I, don't, I think this came with Piper. But I have like pacifiers and diapers and stuff in here. Um, I actually have some more. Oh, I'm so disorganized. We have my little packing area. Um, two headless Ashton Drake dolls, which will be used. Um, this came from my pacifier collection video. I've brought it up here. These I need to go with the clothing stuff to sell. So great doll box, great doll box. And then we have a lot of envelopes. I sell clothing, baby clothes. So they're perfect for that. Some boxes that I kept for shipping baby supplies. Let's see. My little couch area here. It's my tripod that I used a bit ago. So we have Grayson. I just finished a video with him. This is actually Grayson's things that go with him when he sells. Um, this is a, a door doll that I told my sister I would get a new wig for and wait it to feel more realistic. This was another, these are basically the play dolls that I had been wanting to fix up and just haven't gotten around to it. She's so cute, I got her at an antique place in the mountains. Um, we have Alina here, and this is Alina stuff. She's so cute. I do love this baby, this baby's precious. And we have Benjamin hiding over here, hi Benjamin. They're both waiting for a new home. They're currently on eBay, taking offers. Um, then of course over here, that's like my mom's little table station. My dad's office slash hoarding area. <laughs> it's like all receipts and stuff. I have a, like a rack over here that I um, place uh, some dressier clothes and also some blankets I use for doll shows. That blanket right there was actually knitted special. It's about 33 years old. Um, somebody, a friend from Indiana made it for my mom when she was pregnant with my sister who was now 32. 32 and a half. Uh, so I guess that's pretty much it. As you can see it's quite junky but it really gets the job done. I, you know, my mom made that from my little station. You're the best. Thank you, mom. And I guess that's pretty much it. Got a heat gun. Some, yeah, my poor camera is going to get all messed up. So I guess I will get back to working on these crazy dolls that are super hard to <laughs> reborn. And I will talk to you guys soon. Love you so much. Bye-bye.